My friends challenged me to a build battle, so I'll be cheating with every god hack to beat them, from slash slash god to slash slash upgrade. Also, I could be the ultimate builder. End of the world. Okay, we have 15 minutes to make the end of the world. Good luck, guys. And this is my god builder, who's actually camouflaged in my skin. Because when people look over, they'll see he's actually building. So I'm gonna tell them to build the end of the world, and they're already off. And this is where I go in invis. Luffler's already started building. Okay, we are on to a start. This is gonna be our big black hole. And what is Skidzy doing up there? All right, we're just gonna use a little bit of world edit. Boom. He just willed it a bunch of signs. And honestly, I have kind of no idea what it's actually trying. And we're going to go ahead and just put down a ton of sand. But my god builder is already going crazy. Now, fun fact, my god builder is actually a famous builder. So you're going to have to watch the end to find out who he actually is. And Jolly, what have you done? Zombie apocalypse is going to like so how have you already destroyed your plot? I'm about to help her a little bit. But I just put some TNT in here and lighting it up. No. <laughs> I think she's realized Luffler's actually making the world. This is kind of looking like a world, huh? Which, honestly, this is a very small idea. But yo, what's Kitsy doing? I'm just going to take a little peeksy over the top here i'm catching this guy in 4k cheating okay okay i'm gonna go invis real quick and i think it's time to mess with luffler hey yo what are you gonna do i'm gonna go ahead real quick and i'm just gonna borrow his build grab some more tnt a flint and steel and light up yo yo don't blow my world up whoa 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 whoa, whoa. at the same time clear skins his effect so you can see him i did not set that tnt i've just caught these guys red-handed yo what are you doing bro 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 that was not me i swear no, it looks really bad it was not me. <laughs> it's gonna be the end of you in a minute. Get out of here, bro. Well, that kind of worked out in my favor, but the god build is actually going crazy. Is this supposed to be some sort of temple? See, I envisioned an ancient sea getting hit by a meteor, but I think this is also kind of good. Okay, I did get caught, but we still managed to yoink his build. Wait, does Skizzy just copy Luffler's build? Well, nothing says friendship like burning his entire world. Someone did take away my invis, though, and they did try to frame me. Yeah, I think he's gonna come back to a big surprise. Did you happen to to, uh, blow up Luffler's build by any chance? Um, no. But what are those guys doing together? That didn't sound very, uh, convincing, Jolly. <laughs> well, it's because I've been here. I'm keeping my eye on you, and you better not blow up my right. build, all right? Well, Skids is going back to his base. Oh, my. Why is it on fire? <laughs> oh, he just eats me off destroyed. But what did I come back to? He's doing insane. Look at all this mini detail. Wow, okay. I think I've got this in the bag. Hey, yo, but is Jolly spying on Luffler? Who's spying? I'm, I'm kind of done. This is beautiful. Well, there's five minutes left. Oh my gosh. Okay, there's only five minutes left. So I'm going to pop into Invis and replace a deep slit with pink concrete. And this has kind of ruined their entire build. Whoa, my house is but what exactly is inside here? He's got little storage rooms and a secret door. That's pretty cool. Wait, I can't check Luffler's building. He's already leaving. Time to go and check on Skitzy. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Hey, whoa, whoa. Yo, what, the, what oh, are you doing, no. bro? Revenge. Let's turn your planet red. Yo, what is going on with this stupid thing? Although Jolly gives me a very good idea. I'm going to tell the God Builder to make some ruined houses. Yo, wait, I came to troll Skitzy and why are they both here? Oh, hey. <laughs> What's up? Cliff oh. made my all my builds pink. I might kind of leave that area. All right, all right okay. we're, we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go undercover, okay? Who? What is going on? Someone's trying to sabotage my build. Go, to, go distract him, and I'm gonna turn this pink. There's no way you're trying to do this. I'm putting all this out. They can't see me. Slash slash replace stone brick. And my entire temples will go pink. Well, I've just been sabotaged. There was no way they were gonna let me win, even if it meant teaming up to take me down. All right, I may need to fix this real quick. Okay, at least it's been fixed. But why is Luffler there? He's drinking Invis Potion. As we are done, time for revenge. Please don't mess with me. I've had enough. You want to see the end of the world? Never mind. He's going over to Skidzies. Oh my gosh. Who just set my world on fire? Although it kind of looks like he did help him. But what have I come back to? All I remember was there was a house. He's ended up making a massive sea. He's decorated the entire thing. Hey, yo, I've definitely won this. Even if everyone teams up, there's no way they'll beat this famous god builder. I know there's two minutes left. Oh my gosh. There is only two minutes left, people. I mean, he's kind of going ham. So I'm going to pop into Invis. Don't mind me, but I'm kind of yoinking this comet. And you know what? This looks kind of good. It looks like it's about to destroy the entire world. But is Luffler already finished? Well, don't mind me, Luffler, but I replaced your thingy with wool, so you can never be done. Although you better act fast, because your entire build's going to go. Yo, who burned my world? Yo, what is going on? Yo, he just ran. He just ran. And the time's now up. Oh, poor Luffler. You can't even fix it. But now we have to meet in the middle and vote for the best build. Time to go to the best build on the entire map, all right? Okay, so we have our giant meteoroid... 
asteroid meteor right here. Yo, it looks like a sun. Uh, it uh, it is the sun actually. That's how the world. Yo, ended. the lava right. was a nice choice. Yeah, dude, thanks a lot. Yeah, I uh, chose the lava. Thanks for admiring it. Yeah, it looks amazing. Yeah, and then as you guys could see in the background, we have the uh the the whole Milk Way. I'll give this a six out of ten. Yeah, five. Jolly, you gonna get me right? Jolly, <laughs> I was gonna, gonna do right? like a nine. Yeah. What? Skizzy got twenty out of thirty. Meaning it was time for Jolly's. Okay, so this is my build. It had a lot of monsters. Um, somebody took them away, so now it just looks like a pink happy land, but it's not. Okay, there's monsters like that. Hey. Oh my gosh! Wait, this does look like a so pink happy land. Yo, it it looks like a theme park. There's like little hoots inside here. Yeah, I, I am blown away by the creativity of this. I'm gonna start it off with probably a four. I'm gonna match you with that little. I'm gonna give it a three. Yo, okay, honestly, Jolly got me right on uh, on my build, so I'm gonna return the favor. This is a uh, five out of ten. Jolly got a 17 out of 30, meaning it was time for Luffler. The world being sucked into a black hole. Uh, Luffler? Yo, this you, is this you, is a this is a bowl of soup, bro. <laughs> Hey, yo, 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 he's not wrong. Why is it in lava? Because <laughs> the world is burning. It's over, okay? For everyone. Yeah, honestly, it is creative to be fair. The, the world is technically ending, even if it is soup. So I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Uh, Yeah, dude, this is mad soupy. But honestly, it's still a 6 out of 10. Yeah, I'm going to go with the 6 as well. Luffler got 18 out of 30, meaning it was time for mine. And this is my build. Oh my gosh. Bruh, quit. How did you build all this in like 30 minutes, dude? Because I wasn't trolling around. But see, we have the Mayan temple right here. I mean, to be fair, I wrote Aztec temple. Don't mind that. But I think this is a Mayan temple. But if you look up here, that's what's creating the, the end of the world. Hey, yo, that's my, that's my son. It's more like a peanut, but you know, it, it works. It works. You go inside. This is where the people are just trying to get a shelter. Until it blows up, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could check the outside. Little farms, Bro, you know, self-sustainable. And then you leave the actual temple itself. And you got houses everywhere. I couldn't really finish the houses, the fake houses, just so they look nice. Because I had to keep inside the border. I low-key feel I like, like the like sun looks like, like it's mine. But uh, this is a pretty good build. Not going to lie. Hey, wait, Quiff. What's wrong with this mountain right here? What's I just, going on with I, this? Like I said, it's 2D. Uh, yeah, dude. Honestly, this is, this is pretty good. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. It looks like the sun was copied, and that's the only part that's like up on the end of the world theme. So I'll give it an eight. I'm gonna say a seven. I got a 23 out of 30, and they had no idea I was cheating. Fortress. Ooh. Okay, good luck, guys. At the end, our bases are gonna get destroyed. Wait, what do you mean what? destroyed? So we need to make a base that won't get destroyed. And by doing slash slash scan, we get this, which is a cool looking scanner. And Villager, you're a good test subject. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna kind of block you in real quick. Now, nothing. Things about to happen other than i'm gonna scan you now don't worry this is nothing too crazy but if i was to right click the lever it's currently scanning the entire villager and what it's gonna do is completely upgrade this entire thing and like that it's completely changed we now have a guard villager who works perfect for a fortress small 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 small, small. Come here, come here. yeah we haven't teamed up yet do you want to team up sure either way i'm gonna get rid of all the evidence by killing him off and now i can start my actual fortress now this build doesn't even have to be too crazy like a cobblestone box Box is more than enough. It does need some kind of detail, which will be the spikes on the actual build. All right, yeah, something like that. I like it, I like it. Well, that's honestly perfect, because if I could place a scanner in all four corners, it should upgrade the build to be something so much better. Now, while the actual base is upgrading, I have a cool idea, and that's to see what would happen if I was to scan a wandering trader. Just like that. Who even are you? Yeah, this is looking nice for like the first tower. What do you do? He still has trades. Either way, you're going to be at one of our first line of defenses because this build needs to survive the entire round. Now, I do want to check what Kipley's up to. Give us some detail. They're going to have to get through multiple layers to get to me. Ain't nobody breaking this fortress. And it's already giving me some weird witch destiny vibes. And since she's making our reinforced deep slate, just to show you how overpowered this is, yeah, it's going to be hard to break her base and she might actually win. Ah! What was that? But the rest of her base is kind of useless. Sorry about that, Kipley. I was just testing something out. Who just did that? I literally just built this. 
Small's going with a similar sort of vibe. Okay, we're just gonna finish this wall right here. And why is our hole leading into Pepper side? And what is Pepper building? But will it survive the end? But I've now come back to a masterpiece of a build. And I don't think I want to upgrade you anymore, so I'm gonna turn them off. But look at the detail of this build. And is my witch village still inside? Okay, yo, he's been protecting the base. Nothing weird's been happening. Okay, Small's making a castle thing. Very close to Pepper. Why are they so close together? Now, what does a fortress need? It needs big cannons to defend itself. And if I search cannons in Minecraft, there isn't a thing. But that's pretty much why I'll be using a minecart with rails and making three of them. Maybe I can add some fences to make it more cannon-like to a point where that cannon looks good. But the question is, will this actually work? For that, I need to activate three scanners who are now scanning to see if it can make it into a cannon. Well, time to get some invisibility here. No one's fortress wants creepers. What the what? Hello? <laughs> Run away! What's going on? Are you all right, Small? What happened? Who did this? I got it. 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 Look behind you. Oh, I was never there. She'll never know. Now, will this actually work? I have no idea. If I can make a cannon, goodbye, Kipley's build. Now, in the meantime, Wizard, you're not much of a defense. And I need something like the Copper Golem, who unfortunately wasn't actually added to Minecraft. But with the scanner, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to scan this entire being and put him into Minecraft. Well, I hope that's actually going to work. There's no way. What do you even do? He's just rolling around on a wheel. Can I hand you a sword? Oh, but I can give him a sword. Okay, I think someone's on to the fact that me and smaller teaming which is not a good sign nothing's gonna be breaking into this fortress because i have freddy freddy the golem now i kind of want to check up on how the cannons are doing it's actually made cannons how is this even possible but what exactly does this do oh i'm changing how it turns oh my look at this okay i think i bought tnt in here i hope i did do i just click the lever this is kind of scary oh my yo I just shot a cannon. Where did it? Oh, that went far. What is that? What is that smoke line? How far does it go? That wasn't me. What? Protect your base. The smoke trail came from your side. Okay, yo. That is insane. Maybe I should definitely done some testing beforehand just to know how overpowered this is. Maybe that's why I'll make an obsidian wall. And now I'm going to test if we can break through obsidian. Might need to aim you down a little bit and a bit more to that side. I think that should be good. I oh! It even breaks for obsidian. Well, now we know how overpowered this actually is. Did I scare away the wizard? Where did he go? The wizard ran away. Meaning I might need to make some sort of home for him. And this is going to be simple. Because I'm pretty much just going to be making a wizard tower. And like that, a trash wizard tower is done. We got a pretty good looking fortress coming along here. I'm making the build rubbish on purpose. Just so I could test how good this scanner actually is. So while they're scanning the entire wizard base, I want to test the full capabilities. For example, a boat. What would a boat exactly turn into? And oh my, yo, there's the boat. Okay, let me tell you off. We somehow made a plane. All right, we got the front walls looking good. Let me just carve it out on this side so it's even. Now, how exactly do I ride this? It's a working plane. How am I going to explain this? I didn't really think this far. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. No, I've got one out. The plane's going to... Maybe that's a little too overpowered for me. But while the wizard tower is still scanning, I want to create lava around this entire build just to give it a bit more of defense. All right, we just need a bridge. How do you want to do the bridge? We need the hot dog in the middle of the bridge, I feel like. This is the stupidest thing. Yeah, something like this should actually work. Now, what I also want to do is make a drawbridge that will connect to the other side. Yeah, that kind of works. Again, it's nothing too impressive until we've actually scanned it because I want to make this moving where it goes up and down. I don't know if that's possible, but I didn't know it's a wizard tower is completely done so i can get rid of this scanner and instantly the door is that's crazy and if i make my way up it's a little cool wizard tower which will be home to a bunch of wizards we're gonna have like a little bit of a uh another walkway here now i'm looking at the progress on pepper side and for some reason he's teaming up with small that shouldn't be allowed i'll be using this stick by simply scanning this stick it should theoretically turn to something even better wait a second what are you a basic broom i can fly this is awesome actually and why I'm gonna do from here is I'm gonna get TNT and keep placing it. Oh, and then head out. We're getting rain TNT on. They have no idea what's about to go down. I think they've discovered that we're working together now, though, so that's kind of a problem. Now I've come back and the drawbridge is also complete. Now, how is this exactly gonna work? If I right click it, 
Oh, it's glitching. Oh my, wait a second. I thought he did nothing. Oh, this is going to be a great line of defense. Now, there's also one thing I didn't check. And it's, can I get different pieces of gear? Well, it's scanning and I don't think anything's changing. No, the gear still looks like iron. Okay, that might have been too good to be true. That's not iron gear. Wait, we saw that change. Night gear? Wait, I literally have night gear right now. And I actually look like a knight. Okay, I don't want to be wearing this though. But you, my friend, you will be wearing it. Oh my, he looks insane. I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. Now, if I was so a zombie okay they're all fighting him and wait they're doing like crazy damage oh i have my own army our build's getting too big <laughs> beautiful now we have this cute little entryway i need to make a stairway going up to this area so i can just add some ladders right here just a simple build and some chests inside nothing too crazy i think this is good enough to completely scan although i think i need a little bit more scanners there we go this is scanning the entire base which is kind of cool in the meantime i'm gonna copy this build and paste it right over here so we now have two witches towers but what's better than two yes yeah, something like that now, i never really checked up on kipley's side of the base oh my god we have to do redstone for the store i don't know what i'm doing with redstone and she's building more out of the reinforced deep slate which is gonna be hard to actually go inside and look at these teamers how is this even fair well then again mine's actually coming alive and if i go to check them on the inside it's been completely renovated yo it's giving ammo for the cannons what is this and something that's very needed is archer towers okay kind of simple nothing too crazy. Looks kind of cool. And maybe instead of normal ladders, we use iron andesite ladders. This is looking like a clash of clans base. Now I just need to spread the archery towers all over. And like that, this looks so secure. What am I witnessing? They've teamed up? Yo, I'm gonna lose at this rate. What is this? Now the new golems are kind of cool, but we can't forget about the normal iron golems. Because they're pinnacle of every fortress. There we go. We have a few iron golems ready to defend. It's invis time, baby. I don't know what else to say. At this point, I think a nice layer of defense might be cobwebs around this entire place. All right, we're spamming lava in random locations. Small, we're getting invaded. No, 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 no. Unlike that, cobwebs have now been added. Place the lava! Place the lava! We need defenses. We need def- Do not- <laughs> Why are you using logs to put out lava? I first need to make some sort of flag, and that kind of looks really cool. The quiff fortress. If I was to throw a gold helmet down and scan it, I'm pretty sure the gold helmet should practically turn into a crown. Oh, yeah, I, I mean, I'm not even surprised. And now it's on my head. I am actually the king. Their fortresses may be bigger and better than mine, but mine will actually kill someone. Uh, that I will make sure of. But before I actually fully finish my build, I need to check how overpowered these guys really are. Kipley's adding some redstone. What I'll do is secretly place this here and place some TNT right under. I think she might have heard the TNT, but whenever she activates that... Who's clicking the lever? Do not click the lever. No, don't click the lever. <laughs> Oh, uh, I just clicked that. I, maybe I should have left it. I just finished that. Who are you? I think Kipley might be a little bit angry. It was totally them. It was totally me done, Pepper. I'm going to paste the cannon right here. But it's in the perfect angle of shooting to Pepper's build. Just add some TNT inside. And goodbye. Say goodbye to your build. What was that? Oh, we're under siege. Close this off. It did leave a massive hole in their base. That was perfect. That's what they gave for teaming. But with my build fully secure and ready to be invaded, we had to meet in the middle to test our builds. Follow me this way. Now, I know what you're thinking. It's not as big or as flashy as your guys' base, all right? But it is very functional, all right? I'd like everyone to go into survival mode for me, please. All right, we're heading into the fortress. And you know what? I don't really want you guys here. Whoa! Well, it's been nice knowing y'all. As you can see, I have a uh, airlock system for unwanted guests. Very smart. Oh, small. Oh. And I uh, okay. got some iron golems, got the villagers, and then got our treasure room. And diamonds gold. Okay, that's actually insane. The question is, Kipley, will it survive a raid? I mean, if they all come through the front door, maybe. Kipley, will they survive? Oh, well, they're going going to break down the door. Oh. Oh, the Vex are cheating. Oh. They're managing to almost find their way in. Hey, all my villagers are surviving somehow. They're attacking. Will they survive? Oh, the iron golems are putting in some work, though. They are fighting for their life right now. Oh, oh, this is tough so it. far. It's working really well. Yo! Uh -oh. <laughs> I don't How know about their fair? chances anymore. How is this fair? This one trap alone was really good, and you deterred all defenses. This is an AL-10. I think it functioned great. I mean, I got to give it a 9. You protected your villagers really nicely, so I'll give you a 9. Kipley got a 26 out of 30. All right, so if you come over to the magnificent hot fortress dog the build that me and small have created together it gives me japanese vibes hands levitating the hot dog in the middle oh 
It does look really cool. All right, guys, if you just follow me, this is the main entrance where you can see that we really do love hot dogs here. Hot dog banners. Woo. Okay, they're all gonna start coming in. Bring them in. You guys, let's. I'll put some villagers. Okay, your villagers are oh. currently being destroyed. Yo, they're here. They're, they're, they're taking over. Guys, what what kind of fortress is this? They've leaked in. There's no defense. Well, I guess all that's left is our loot, Quiff. If you're the leader of the army, you might as well go grab our loot. Okay, I'm just gonna break this and I've opened it. Oh, I had TNT. Oh my! Oh! This was a distraction! Everyone was very distracted. The entire army is dead and our base, our true base where we store our riches. No way! There is no fortress? way. That's a really good idea. You know, I really like that. Wow. This this has to be a 10 out of 10. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with the 8. Pepper and Small got 20 out of 60. And now this is my fortress. Ooh, I like it. Oh, this is sick. So we have a full defensive fortress. They're villagers with weapons. What? They have crossbows. There's no way we'd be able to get in here. There are actual Wait. cannons in <gasps> Minecraft. What? How did you do this? Boom. Whoa. We have a drawbridge. An actual drawbridge? And the entire point is to get to the throne, which where the king lays. And as you can see, I am the king. <gasps> oh, all right. We're trying to kill you then, buddy, huh? Uh, everyone go inside this little elevator. And there we go. <gasps> Wait. Wait, what is this little guy? He is a, he's a oh. copper golem. And then this is the throne right here. This is crazy. But guys, call Wait. upon your army right now. Oh, I'm so ready. I'm ready. Go! Enter! Yeah, they're not going to make it even past the moat. Oh, some are trying. Swim! The gods are coming in. Go! You want backup? Backup is now arriving. Layer it! Whoa! Whoa. From your entire army, nothing's really survived. And I'm going to just lift the drawbridge up. And yeah, they can't do anything. This is easily a 10. I'm giving it 11, dude. These cannons are so much fun. It's a 10 out of 10 for me. Meaning my fortress was the last one standing. And my villagers survived. Got dimension. I only have 15 minutes to make a dimension. Good luck, guys. I'm thinking we put the overworld up here. And then we put the nether down here. All right, this is going to be the purple dimension. What the heck is dimension? And this is my god drawer. Who's completely camouflaged in my skin? That's because if people try to sneak over, they'll see it's actually me building. So I'm going to tell him to draw a dimension tower and I'm going to hold it in my offhand so I can see exactly what they're drawing at all time. But I need to pop into Invis. And over on Kipley's side... Alright, we got the first layer and we're going to go up by one, but we're going to put a space in between to create like a foggy effect all the way going up. Oh boy, this is going to be a lot of layers. What exactly is she making? It looks like some nether dimension. They're definitely doing something. Like, look at this. Who did this? But she's already leaving her area? It's got dirt mounds. She's peeking on everyone. Alright, you know what? I have an idea. I have an idea. But what exactly is Skitty doing? Like, I, I think it needs to look a little bit more, like, mountainous. All right, he's clearly cheating with Will at it. Meaning they're gonna try everything to beat me in this building competition. Hey, yo, what's that floating? I'm gonna make one giant TNT mound. I'm gonna leave before I get caught. You ready? We're gonna put one right in the middle. They've just placed TNT! Oh! <laughs> Drop! Hey, yo. Oh my gosh, what the heck? That wasn't even me! I do not remember putting a TNT ball there. But if we check back on the drawing... Yo, this looks pretty sick. I assume this is the dimensional pier? Well, I think they've almost finished. Ain't no one blowing up my wall and getting away with it. He just drank in this! Off we go! I don't know where he's going. You ready for an explosion, Skizzy? And changes to pink concrete? Well, honestly, this kind of looks like a cool dimension. We can't be tolerating that, alright? Bro, what the heck is going on? But what have I come back to? I have the drawing in my hand and it kind of looks exactly like the build oh it was definitely kipley but if i pop back into invis and go to kipley if i grab this corner i'm gonna create into tnt wait someone just spawned a ton of tnt uh, i don't know who did this but i'm just gonna blow it up no 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 but i forgot to tell you that god drawer in the back is actually a famous youtuber and i'll let you know who it is at the end of the video but i think this build should give a hint because it's really crazy hey i saw you man and what okay while she's going there remove her entire pole don't act like i didn't see you over the wall buddy huh yeah she can deal with that i saw you over the wall when it exploded on my side man you think i didn't see you Go, okay, li look, you can literally see my side got blown up. So uh, it's probably Luffler. Well, I have no idea what they're doing. But hey, yo, Luffler, bro. Well, how is this a dimension? But hey, yo, those guys are coming over here. Luffler, 
Another. Oh my, he has another portal too? Yo, chill. They're placing TNT, Paul Luffler. Think you're funny guy blowing up my build? Yeah, dude, you freaking Bro, blew up my no. build too. Dead, huh? My whole thing just got turned to pink. It was not me. But I'll help you. Because instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here. And I'm going to remove Skitty's entire build. But when he comes back, it looks like we haven't even started the building competition. Wait, he already has a massive build. Look at that thing. Was it actually not you? His entire floor is brand new. If it was Quiff, let's go team share my lesson. All right, all three of us. Okay, okay, I'm on Flint and Steel duty. I'm on Flint and Steel duty. But yo, what's happening on my side? Yo, 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 yo. Get the lower floors. What happened? Luffless not his base. Holy moly. Skidzy isn't. Okay, all right, we gotta go. We gotta go. And neither is Kipley. Okay, that'll show him. Meaning they're all teaming up to sabotage me. Well, I first need to get rid of all this TNT. Oh my. Oh. Oh, guys, we, we actually have to start over. Oh, but my entire build's gone. Do you see what they did? Well, you know what? First, I think I need to destroy this. Well, at least it's now done. But let's make some better. I've told her to make a portal with an alien coming out. Because I can't imagine some sort of invasion. Good luck on this one. But there's still four minutes left. I feel like I'm living in limbo. And there's only four minutes left. Four minutes left. And if I go back into Invis, if I grab some TNT, some redstone, and some skulk, there's now TNT under that. What? What the heck, man? <laughs> you idiot. That was Skulk right there. Over on Skidzy's side. All right, guys. We are about to make the quickest nether ever. But you know what doesn't scream dimension? It's just a bunch of villagers. This will definitely get you a lot of lower points. And I kind of see what Luffle is doing. He's got the pigmen on the left and the pigs on the right. But there's a small parasite in your build. Oh, what the hell just happened? Oh, he's going to kill them all. Yo, <laughs> that's when I kind of leave. And what is that? If I check the drawing, what are they making? For some reason, the pool just built. Skitty! All right, we need to have a talk. All right, have you looked at your boundaries? Now, look at the pool in the back, and then look at the build. There's still someone that needs to be built. While Skipley is over with Skitty, we are going to steal her portal. Wait, did Luffy just steal Kipley's build? And just like that, we have Kipley's portal. Wait, what is this? What have I come back to? I know the first build was pretty cool, but this is so much better. And it's coming out of this portal? But there is one minute left. One minute left? Okay, we gotta go. We gotta go. But mine's definitely the best. Hey, what's Skitty doing? I don't even know what this is supposed to be, but uh, I'm just gonna blow it up. What is he doing? Oh my gosh, perfect timing. Time's up. What is wrong with you? And the time just went up, but now we had to meet in the middle to vote for the best build. Okay, so if you come to my side, or should I say maybe all three of our sides, because apparently everyone likes to come onto my side. Looking at the walls, all right? Oh, yeah, uh, I guess we did kind of do that. The whole land is not completely, you know, Kipley purple dimension. What's this TNT? Wait, yeah, and how come only yeah. half of your portals are ignited? What's that all about? I don't know. Someone must have blown them up. Okay, you go through, and then you're in the Kipley dimension, okay? What is this? Is it a pyramid? Yeah, they got a temple where the villagers all come to gather, you know? I think that's a you problem, all right? But if you look at the ground, it's all foggy with the glass, you know? You don't really know what you're standing on. Yeah, you know what? This is kind of sick. I like it. I'm going to give it like an 8 out of 10. All right, I'll take it. I'll take it. Five for me. This is uh, this is an 8 out of 10 for me. Kipley got 21 out of 30, meaning it was time for Skidzy. All right, guys, feast your eyes on the best build that you've probably ever seen in your entire lives, all right? Oh! oh. So what you're looking at is the overworld. If you look down here, you're like, whoa, wait, it's kind of purple. This is a uh, this is a portal to the nether. Yo! I like the bedrock ceiling because there's bedrock in the nether, so that was clever. Yo, that is so smart. I really like that. Yeah, well, I got a big brain. This might might be the best build so far. All uh, right, you know, this build is insane, man. The, the only thing I like about, I don't like about it is I, I was like envisioning like a custom dimension, but it's still really awesome. So I'm gonna give it like a seven. Yeah, honestly, you can't beat this. I like every bit of detail. I have to give it a 10 out of 10. Bro, you're not getting no 10, is it six? Skidzy got a 23 out of 30, meaning it was time for Luffler. I'd like to see that you took inspiration for your portal, Kipley. Yeah, thanks, I, I appreciate it. Wait, this is exactly like Kipley's. Hey, wait, what? This doesn't even fit your build. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. All right, yeah, Luffler, I'm going to give this a uh, a mighty 5 out of 10. I was going to give you a 6, but I'm deducting two points for stealing my portal. You get a 4. Luffler got a 6 in our 30, meaning it was time for mine. Wait, what is this, man? Yo, this Ooh, is mine. Wow, it is a it's, it's a dimension. Because if you check in the back of the actual build, you can actually see it's a portal. Wait, what? Oh, so it, it came through the portal. Yo, this is actually crazy. Like, what is this? 
And this is being spawned through it. And then we go over to the main side. Yo, dude, this is haunted, bro. What is this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The tentacles are coming out. You check inside here. And you've got the sacrifices to open the portal. This is an 11 for me. Look, they don't have a face. Their face is the portal. Because if you go inside, it's a massive book that's opening. And the portal's here. Yeah, no. E even though I think you were using a little bit of world edit, it's still so cool. I really like the face and the villagers and the cages with the skulls. So, yeah, I'm going to give it a 10. So I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. This is a 9 out of 10. Meaning my bill got 30 out of 30. And they had no idea I was cheating. Scary forest. Okay, good luck, guys. Ooh. Okay. Try not to be scared. And the reason I said that is because if I do slash slash scary, I get this. A scary soul. And just like it suggests, I'm able to possess anything to make it evil. Oh, that's... uh. Yeah, I don't know if I want to mess with this guy. Just look at his eyes. What is wrong with you? Oh, we should still make like a skulk for us. Yeah, I'm thinking cabin in the wood. The ground is going to be skulk. But I'm going to get rid of the evidence for now. But this scary soul will corrupt this entire build battle. Starting first with the trees. And like that, we have a sort of forest that's currently growing. Now, just to show you how a scary soul would convert a tree. If I right click it, it turns the entire tree bloody. Which is awesome. Because just like I'm thinking, if I was to place redstone around here, will that convert into blood like this? And again, very haunted. If I spiral on Kipley's side. All right, the front is kind of done. We need a roof. We need to finish that wall. This is going to be a very, very spooky house in the middle of the forest. We'll do the forest in a second. She's making some sort of witch's hook, but I can haunt her entire build. By summoning a bunch of ghosts, this is slowly gonna take her blocks away. What the? What? What is that? Why well, look at that. Yo, we're stealing my blocks. What are you? I don't even really do anything. Oh my, the little thief, stop. Yeah, I don't think anyone's gonna suspect what's going on, but I first need to make some sort of build, which will start off with a little base. So we got like a skulk biome going. Let's Maybe make some... What would a skulk tree look like? First thing I'll be making is a simple tent. And it actually doesn't look too bad so far. In the middle, I could place a campfire to make it seem slightly abandoned. And am I able to crop these blocks? I, I can, meaning I could place blood all around here. This is already beginning to look so spooky. That was ridiculous. I don't know how there's ghosts on the property, but I did not like that. Oh, this looks like a murder scene. And just by adding some small detail around here, I could definitely make this tent look a little bit cooler than it actually is. And am I able to crop some of these blocks? I can. Which makes it look a little bit more creepy. Almost like something was staying here. I will place some chests inside because there will be some random loot. And just so the back's not empty, I can place a bunch of trees to make it seem a little bit cooler. Now, like we tested earlier, I'll be placing a villager and converting him into this evil villager mob. Who will hunt down any of these players. If I'm not mistaken, I swear I just saw eyes watching me. Or am I going crazy here? I'm not too sure. But this is seriously going to become more and more cursed. Now we need the actual forest. Because just by adding a little bit of cobwebs, this place really looks abandoned. I do need to show there was some sort of civilization here, so I'll place a bed and use some trap doors to cover the back. I like that we have our first tent complete. Just gonna have random like patterns everywhere. The problem is the entrance will be right here, so I should mark it so I know exactly where I need to go. How is Pepper going out of the border? What exactly is he making? This calls for one thing, and that's if I summon a bunch of ghosts. Oh, what the? Go, 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 go. They're just yoinking my blocks. They're taking his entire build apart. You're slowly gonna be haunted by the things you're making. Wait, this isn't even in LA. Are these little ghosts? What are these things? Well, that's kind of what he gets for cheating and going out of the border. Maybe we should keep them here. Except, are they just gonna destroy my forest slowly? In the meantime, I kind of need to make a path just so I know where each of the builds are gonna be placed. So, going there will lead into the tent. Over here, I'll make some sort of graveyard. Because what's creepy in the middle of nowhere, then just somewhere with a bunch of graves. Although, I do need to get rid of half these trees. We must have a thicker forest. Come on now. Now, I don't really know how big I want to make this, but this is going to be the entrance. I am bars for the detail. And to make it even scarier, what if I just make a bunch of graves? And I could just use cobblestone walls to make the actual place. Okay, this is looking very creepy. Now, I'm thinking inside here, I'll use a bunch of heads. So I'll put a skeleton head over here, just so it looks like people were actually dead here. We need like a path, and I feel like the warp nylon would look the best. But how can I make this even more creepy? What if I was to put armor stand right here and a player head? Could I use the skeleton? Scary soul to infect this? Wait, what in the world are you? I've somehow spawned a hero, Brian. Oh, wait a second. Do I even want to know what you do? But it kind of works perfectly because he's staring you the way. And when they come to investigate this, it will be completely over for them. Unfortunately, I have to place each individual mangrove tree. So we're going 
gonna be here for a while. Just to make it a little bit more creepy, I'll add some redstone torches around here. Like that, the graveyard's pretty much complete. Again, it doesn't need to be anything too crazy. So I could just add some small detail. And the reason is, if I was to use that scary soul, I can make all of this completely bloody. Oh, this is awesome. Look at this. Am I gonna accidentally summon the warden at my own build? All right, the tree part of scary forest is complete. I guess I can cover this up with coaster just in case anyone wants to go in. And I kind of actually have an idea here. If I just use trap doors, I can make a tomb that's already been opened. So someone's already escaped this. Now by simply just adding a path and connecting it over onto this side, it starts to build a scary story. Because now we have a graveyard that's covered in blood and we have a villager tent that I've lost a scary villager. So maybe what I'll do is like have like maybe a mannequin. We're gonna take a quick break because I need to see who's actually summoning the ghosts around, all right? I've lost a scary villager. Wait, where's he gone? This is kind of creepy. I bet it was Pepper that did all the command block nonsense. I guess I can now make a path somewhat to the entrance so we know exactly where to start from. So kind of like that. You know what? Let's get some invis. Let's go make his side a little less spooky. Ho, ho, ho. Why are there pandas? And for some reason, there's pandas escaping from Pepper's area, which I'm kind of concerned about. Pee for panda, pee for Pepper. It works out great. But should I possess them? No, I think it's still too early for that. Should I give them to Kipley? Oh, gosh. Who's the biggest threat here? Kipley looks like the biggest threat. Something like, ah! Whose pandas are these? Gosh dang it, I don't want the pandas! He already looks kind of possessed. What's he doing? Just to make use of his space, I'm just gonna make some sort of structure. It doesn't really need to be anything. Like corrupting it, there can be blood all around here. And wait, I have an idea. What about glass. I didn't think about this. Should I use it here or inside a house? Do wonder what would happen. Let me just place a bunch of glass around here and use the cursed essence. Oh, it just makes a reflection, which isn't that bad, right? That's kind of cool when you think about it. But is it creepy? I guess it could be like, oh my, yo, wait a second. I got really close to the mirror and it jump scared me. Yeah, maybe that was perfect. And maybe this scary soul is starting to corrupt this world. That was seriously very cursed. Make him start setting some diamond blocks too. I don't want diamond blocks. Who is doing this? I guess I can just add some walls around here to make it look slightly more ruined. Just some slight detail. Well, let's just end off this build with a bunch of redstone torches. I like that. That's another one done. Okay, so what I think I'm gonna do is like have a villager in here. All right, if I did this right, these guys should be floating a little bit now. I feel like I need to build someone in this area over here. I need inspiration. So who can I go quickly haunt? Small has a really cool area going. What if we just have blood going into here? Yo, just don't mind me. I'm just summoning a bunch of ghosts. Oh, what? What? Where are you? Hello? Kipley's area looks cool. All right, there we go. Very spooky. A house that comes alive to eat you. I like it. She's right here. Kipley's right here. Look at him. I'm going to yeah, use a scary soul scary, but... to right click her. Wait, nothing happened. How did she get possessed? Whoa! No, no. What is going on? Oh, oh, I see how I see. Whoa. Oh, my gosh. Stop. These are way too many. Stop. Get off of me. <gasps> oh! Look at all of them spawning. Where the skulls have possessed their entire soul. Get off of me. Okay, that was seriously creepy. But in the meantime, I got a really cool idea from Small, which is just essentially make a giant tree. And I don't really know how good my tree building skills are because it's not often I really make trees. But like that, I've made a big tree because right here, if I just add a chain, I can add an upside down mob or I could do something better. I guess that kind of works, right? I'll just spawn a villager in here. Oh, that looks awesome. If I scarify this entire thing and just add some redstone around here, scarify the redstone, that's another build sort of complete. So I can add a sign saying, Leave now. And I think if I make it red dye, there we go. It's become like blood. Had enough of you, scary house, huh? You're going to time out, buddy. All right, let's see if our spawn egg works this time. Oh, that's right. We didn't give him the tag. I do think what would make this look slightly cooler is some sort of broken down villager house. I assume it would be something like this. What would be inside? We could definitely figure that out later because now we're starting to actually fully complete what this looks like. We only need a couple more builds to make. And I have an idea for the last one. I want to make some sort of ritual area. So by making this, what? What nether blocks are there that would be cool for building gets red? By adding some sort of outline to this, it already starts to look freaky. Bear in mind, you won't be able to see any of these builds because there's going to be trees covering this entire thing. So only the paths will lead you to where you need to be. But what can I place here? All right, Spawn Egg, are you going to work now? Oh, ho, ho. What better forest to live in than a forest that has every type of tree? What about a Herobrine summoning ritual? This might get kind of creepy. I might somehow curse this actual build battle. But from here, right here will be one of the final builds. 
gold, which I bet will take the most time. And that's because it's going to be a cursed, creepy mansion. This is kind of spooky. Put a few of these guys around. I don't really know how big I can make this while keeping in the time limit. So let me rush an exterior. This doesn't look that bad. I think I've actually done a good spot. Exterior like that is done. Add some windows right here. And listen, I want these to be normal windows. So if I were used to curse energy, okay, it just makes it into bloodied ones. Oh my. This is all to lure the people in, okay? All this niceness is just an illusion. Interior doesn't even need to be done. All it needs to be is a dark long corridor with a trap chest at the end. That if you fall down, I think it will lead you right here. And it hits you with the mirror again where you'll get jump scared by, I think, something different this time. One last quick thing I do want to make is a mob. I don't know how this is actually going to work. But I don't think I need to make him crazy. Oh, this is looking good. I don't know if anyone knows what I'm making. But I'm kind of going to make the guy from the screen mask. Oh, this, this looks so bad. Is this even going to work if I use cursed energy? Oh, no way. He's just roaming this entire area. First of all, I need to plant the trees now. I need to cover this so it nothing shows. Which means I need to plant a lot of trees. Let's make this house look even cuter. Now I'm just going to add some little details, which is redstone torches all around the path. So people kind of know where to go. I also need to break this so you can see. I think one little last detail is I'm just going to add a bunch of blood. I guess the trees are out of bound, but they can't really complain about that. See? But with the time up, we now have to meet in the middle. Follow me, Gallagher this way. All right, we'll drop down around here. All right, this is not okay. scary at all. What is this? This is beautiful. We got every type of tree here. We got flowers, bees, honey. You've got a cute little house. What do you mean? There's a pond with axolotls? Let's just hold on, all right? Let's all get inside the house, okay? Okay. There's oh, cake. there's diamonds, gold, and a book. Okay. Why did I eat the cake? It was never real. It was an illusion. I should have run. Oh, no. Uh, well, guys? <gasps> <laughs> you have all been devoured by the house. Wait, like the like the Hansel and Gretel. A 7 out of 10. You get a 9. I'll give you a 9. Kimberly got a 25 out of 30. Welcome to my build. Over here, you can see something has happened. Yo, what is this? Read this book. The screams of the souls trapped in the forest tell me to run for a better tomorrow. I promised I would come back with a creature's head. Wait, there's a creature in here. Something ate this. Look at this big rib cage. Yo, Ooh. it's just bones. It's like a fossil over here. This is, and there's cobwebs, so it's been around for a while. Oh, this guy, what is, is he all right? Yo! Yo! I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10. I'm gonna go with a 9 out of 10. Yeah, I really like it. You had us creeping through the forest, scared for our lives. I'm gonna go with an 8. Small got a 25 out of 30. I have made the Skulk Forest biome. There's no Skulk above ground, so I figured it'd be awesome if there was a Skulk Forest above ground. Yo! Yes. With this comes a new mob, the Eye of the warden. Wait, how? Wait, what is that? Huh? Why couldn't this actually be someone like the ancient city? This is so cool. They serve no purpose other than stalking you when you're in the biome. Wait, what is this giant tower over here? This looks like a ritual. Okay, wait a second. Guys, uh, what, why is this ritual right here? I don't know. I wouldn't break it, though. Okay, now let's break it. it. <gasps> Guys? <gasps> Yo! Whoa, Yo, whoa, what whoa, is whoa, this? Whoa, no, 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 no. Oh. Wait, what is happening? It's just infinitely falling. This is a 10. I liked it, and I like the uh, weird mob that you created, so I'll give it a 9. I'll I'll give this a 9 out of 10. This was actually really cool. Pepper got 20 out of 30. Now, this is my build. Unlike any other what? build, this is going to be sort of like an adventure map where, first of all, I'm going to put us all into a game mode adventure. Oh, okay. And we have to take this slow. First of all, you see a sign that says, don't enter. No. What do you guys do? Obviously, we enter. So you take this very slow. Do you guys want to go left first or right? There's a mirror that way. What? Oh, so you've chosen the left side. We follow this way and you realize it's a creepy mirror. Is this normal? If you also right click it, what happens? Myself? Wait, how am I seeing myself? Ah! Oh, don't click it! Don't click it! Oh my gosh! Peppa, don't go too far. Oh, <laughs> It might oh, seem what? like a normal mirror, but in fact, it has been cursed by a witch. But then you leave this area and you decide, okay, that wasn't the way. Which way do you want to go? Do you want to go to the right or to the left now? There's a pretty pink building over here. You come across a graveyard right here. Ooh, okay. Spooky. More blood. More redstone torches. That might look like a normal Steve, but then you check his face. Oh, it's here, Brian. No way! It's here, Brian. Yo, he's actually so tall. <laughs> ah! Oh, God, 
to stop clicking things. Hero Brian, Hero Brian is is definitely after you now. So be very careful. So then you realize this redstone torch is over here, and who wants to go first? Oh, it's just a villager. Hey, what's popping? I think his neck's popping. Yeah, he's not. He's wait, not a normal both. villager. And you realize, wait, oh th this this God. is a dead end. So we have to go all the way back to the start. Oh, uh, what's over here? There's a sign. Oh, oh, there's a guy with a mask. Oh, with a uh, oh oh hey. Hey, you. Pepper, you go in. Be a man. Uh, I'm going to win. Get back. Just going to lay him out for a second. Ah, Quiff's sliding about. No, no, he's he's not. He's not harmful. He's not harmful at all. Yeah, why is he holding the knife like that? <gasps> ah! Yeah, go. Oh, no, not me. <laughs> the villager has been captured, and the one that you guys saw was the fake imitator. But it says leave now. Why does it say leave now? That is because if you follow oh. the path over this way. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. This guy again. I've already clicked him once. So I'm not doing it again. I'll take it. Me and Hero Brian are bros. Oh! <laughs> Yep, it's a, it, this is oh. how he spawns. He is he, one of the causes of this entire scary forest. But either way, you come over here and you witness a house. Oh, no. I don't know if you guys have seen the... Yeah, just go in. Oh, a mirror? Oh, I knew it! That's too much. <laughs> let me out. Let me out. That's a 10. Yeah, I'm going to go 10 too. That was terrifying. Meaning I managed to scare my friends. But they still didn't quit yet. My friends challenged me to a Bilbao. But what they don't know is I'll be cheating with Slash Slash Illegal which will turn my build completely illegal. Now, will my friends find out or will my build get too illegal? A fake world. All right, good luck, guys. Good luck. I get these three boxes. Each one has a different item. For example, a legal wrench. This can make blocks illegal. So if I was to test it on this shulker, okay, the shulker's gone completely invis. I don't know how I feel about that. The next is an illegal expander. Make any block stretchy, meaning this is gonna look very funky. And the last one, illegal paint. Paint any object to make them alive. So since we're making a fake world, I'm gonna first paint a fake world, just like that. It's kind of weird how it's on the floor. So by right clicking, we now have a giant sphere. That's honestly a good start to our fake world and it's pretty big from the inside the only problem for my build to stay spawned this kind of needs to stay on the floor it's like a hologram now to make it more realistic i should actually add some grass and like that, it's done. We now have some grassland. Let's make a house. When you get close to it to try to enter it, it just despawns. Now, with these illegal items, I'm going to create a world inside a world. So to make sure no one's going to be copying me, what am I watching? Cool. Now we have like a hazy purple sky minus the ugly green behind this. Okay, can't lie. This is going to be crazy. Because not only is Skull a pro builder, so is Thermite. Oh. I kind of messed up. I kind of messed up. And I really have no idea what he's building. But I now need to make some sort of villages. And honestly, that's a good enough house for now. Because if I now use the wrench, I'm able to turn blocks to make it look completely funky. I need to make this house look like it's breaking apart. Like this, it looks like it's falling apart. And it looks just as crazy from the inside. So the first house is done. And we'll put some floating spheres in, I think, at the end. Now, I kind of want to make a path going to a different house over here. Because by making another house... I can now use the legal expander to make this house look crazier than it actually is. I look at that already. Okay, this house looks chunky and I can't make it too obvious. Boy, what's that? What is this? And I'm thinking like I just go kind of in a triangle from the corner. Oh, I see. It's scarlet. But by also making this look the little crack like it's falling apart, it just looks more insane. Look at this. Now, the reason I'm making my world fall apart, because I'm going to use the legal paint to create a monster that comes alive. But two houses are now done. But if I now go over to Scarlet's side, I really have no idea what she's making. But if I was to slowly send some TNT off. Oh, what was that? No! I think she has no idea what's happening. How could you do this? I just... Just like that, I've made a massive hole into a fake world. Wolfie seems to be going with a fake Minecraft world. Yeah, we, we always need some badly placed trees in Minecraft. Termite's making a house out of wood. And since it's getting pretty cold, I should help him by starting a bit of a fire, you know? Who's that? Who's that? I hear you. No, not the fire. Go. Good, I can't build out of wood in this competition. Everyone just instantly whips out the... F oh! But what I'm going to do now is place this block and use the illegal wrench. Okay, wait. How did this guy spawn? What are you doing? Uh, you know, honestly, you can kind of help. But as I was saying, I'm going to use the illegal wrench now to turn it into sky. Okay, my fake world actually looks great. And the problem is I have no idea where my exit is. Okay, it's right here. Well, this definitely looks awesome. Okay, how bad is this hole? We could leave the hole. Let's make the hole work for us. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to use paint and hopefully... This this spawns incorrect. I think that should work, right? It really looks like a crack in the sky. But for how fast I painted it, it looks pretty good. This is a beautiful house, by the way. But I definitely want to make this bigger. So let me work on it myself. 
Okay, and Loki, that actually looks great. Now, just so I know where the exit is, I'm just gonna place two doors right here. Like that. Okay, that looks kind of cool. All right, let's just figure out what we're replacing all the ground with. What I also want to do, I'm just gonna add some logs over here. And by using the wrench, it changes how the block actually looks. So I can continue this till it looks like this. I'm pretty sure I can just add rails to make it look like it's strapped down. That is a beautiful home. Anyone would want to live in that, right? Okay, that looks kind of good. This area does need a floor, though. And right here, I'm going to use the legal wrench to make this into a fake block. Oh, th this is kind of cool. I can just float straight through this block. And inside here will be the real room where they'll be able to actually escape this fake world. Like that. And it's just going to say, congrats, you escaped. Now we just need this also on the side. <laughs> what is this? I do want to make some sort of pond just to make this place cooler than it. You get pink balls. What just happened? Now it's pink and beautiful. Why has pink concrete just spawned? What's happened outside my world? Okay, I don't know who that was, but they're after blood. In the meantime, I'm just going to continue to get rid of this. And now I'm just going to fill this all up with water. But by using the wrench, I can make the wall look completely weird. Almost like there's ripple effects. Okay, so this one should make it disappear completely. And then this one should make it appear. Okay, cool. That doesn't even look like water. I'll just block this off with some fences to make it seem like a fishing dock. And I guess what else I can do is by breaking a lot of this grass, I can almost make this seem like an earthquake. So let me just break this a little bit more like it's one more layer deep. And Loki, it doesn't even actually look that bad. It's mushroom world time. I can maybe use the expander here a little bit to expand the blocks around it, which makes it look even bigger than it actually is. So it makes it look like the floor's coming up, like an actual earthquake. Okay, this might actually be the best build I've ever made in my entire life. Especially illegal, because we haven't even made the mob that comes alive yet. Okay, wait, that actually looks kind of cool. And maybe just by breaking some of this and filling the underneath with stone, I could just simply add some lava. So when we back up, the house is there. You get close to it, it, it just disappears. <laughs> I picked up the wall block. Meaning, I think I can make this look some sort of like a tsunami. It doesn't look that horrible because I could just simply just pump these a few times to make it look stranger than it is already. Water flowing is kind of weird. And using the wrench, I could turn it a little bit to make it look weirder than it actually is. And like that, it looks like a tsunami. When life gives you ugly mushrooms, make even uglier mushrooms. Some other things I need is some oak trees that by using the wrench, I can make them sphere. Honestly, this doesn't look too shabby. I feel like something's definitely missing here before I make the monster. So if I quickly go into invis and check up on thermite he's using command blocks okay so if i get close enough to him he'll get invisible okay wait i just got close to the house and it disappeared okay wait that's kind of weird why is it whenever i get close to the house it disappears wait what is this okay that's some tough competition scholar looks like she's making some ufo you just build these parts and what wolfie making <laughs> that's a pig okay seriously these are some good pro builders but looking at wolfie gave me an idea my land is way too flat it doesn't really look like a normal world. By using some world in it, I could just make some sort of mountain. And it kind of makes sense why there's lava there. Fill all this in so it doesn't look as dodgy. And yo, it doesn't even look that bad. Dude, how do we tame him? He's invisible. Oh, there he is. All of this water now looks weird, so I kind of want to make it so it seems like it's coming from this mountain. That actually looks so much cooler. Now that the base is done, time to make the monster. Now, what block would look really cool? Skulk. Maybe some sort of skulk monster? Yeah, I don't really know how I'm going to make him. This is the issue I have. Wait, why make it when I can paint it? So I want arms coming out like this, almost like tentacles. I think that should work. Will they think this is cool or will they think it's lame? Hey, we can have a few villagers. I don't make the head myself. Hey, why does this look like a budget venom? Oh, okay, wait. It does look funky. I think that's purely because I rushed it, but I think I could work with this. Is a skulk monster coming in life cool? I'm definitely going to work with this. And I think this could be like a little house. Okay, so that'll set it to coal ore whenever you get close to the diamond ore. But how would this look if it was a lava monster? Okay, yeah, wait. It doesn't look as cool. Let's keep it skulk. Let me get a bit of the head going. What if he has voice? Void eyes. Void eyes are actually really cool. I also kind of need to give him a bit of a creepy smile. We're done. All right, we can sneak around and sabotage again. I don't know about you guys, but he does look kind of scary. I think I need to add some villagers here. What if I just use simple glass blocks with world edit for now? Okay, if I do that, then use the wrench like they're getting sucked up. Make them look a little bit freaky like they're flowing. And that looks crazy. Oh, whoa, this is so cool. I never even considered decorating the wall.
walls. This looks, oh my gosh, this looks super good. I think I've done an insane job. It's a fake world. He's sucking all the real world out. Now I've kind of got to deal with the outside. So if I was just to go in the middle, please tell me I know the commands for this. And the outside looks fine. And just like that, we're inside and it's completely done. All right, let's see. Okay, so the, the TNT minecart's going to constantly pursuit. No! Okay, let's summon a few more. I don't want these minecarts. Why are they following me? Another cool thing I could do is just add a bunch of small bits going around. Like, this is definitely very illegal. This might be my best build I've made so far. Here it comes. Boom! <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is actually perfect. But now we have to meet in the middle to vote for the best build. All right, come down here. You can uh, you can just check it out. It's my nice little survival base that I built. This just looks like a normal house. Yeah, just come check it out. Come check out these dogs that are totally there. Yeah, just go go approach them there. Oh, wait, when I get close oh. to the dogs, they disappear. That's weird. Let's move on here. Let's all get some armor really quick. <laughs> build hacks full? So we put your armor on. It's important. You got to make sure you have your armor on. We can go check out the diamonds over here. All right, usually you'd go mine them, but if they turn to cold. That's all right. Let's just move on. Let's just go check out the house. Okay, I'm not tripping, right, Anyone guys? Go check you out guys the saw there were diamonds. I feel like oh, I'm being gaslit. Oh, they're back. All right, let's just go inside the house then. Yeah, go for this it. can't be. It's gone. It disappeared. This is insane. And that's pretty much it. But uh, if you check your armor, you were never actually wearing netherite. You were wearing a leather tunic with cursive binding. This is a 10. I agree. 10. Me and Peppa got a 30 out of 30. Okay, so we had some difficulties with TNT. That definitely wasn't. <laughs> intentional. Wait, okay, so is this like a mushroom land? This is where one of you guys decided to blow a hole in the ground. The mushroom looks really good. I was gonna make this be a house with no boys allowed and then you guys couldn't see it, but uh, I ran out of time. <laughs> just from like the walls and everything, and even the mushrooms are really complex. I'm just the terraforming. This easily gets an 8. I think I'm gonna go with a 9. The walls are like really cool to look at and I like the twist you took. Everyone went with like I think we all went with like illegal builds or something, but this is more like a fake fantasy world, which is cool. I'm gonna go with an 8. Scala got 25 out of 30. So, my uh, whole build idea was of a containment chamber where everyone is being watched. Okay, wait. This already just looks like I'm being watched. I love oh, this. It reminds me of one of those one-by-one one texture packs. <laughs> That's. I was just thinking, like, the start menu texture pack. Yeah. Villagers are watching. Yeah, those are the scientists that are always watching. It looks like an experiment. I really like This is a 9 out of 10. I'm going to give it a 10, too. <laughs> I agree. Ah. I would give it ah. a 10. Wolfie got a 29 out of 30. Oh, my gosh. It's Earth. Yeah, so I, I've decided to create a fake world. Because if you go inside here, are you guys ready? Oh, gosh. What is this? Oh. What did you do? This is the fake world. What is with these trees? Why are they balled up? There are monsters coming through the sky and he's sucking everything up, causing natural disasters. Why are the blocks at an angle? It's because they're being, they're being sucked up by this monster. I'm surprised you noticed that, but not the water floor. Oh my, what? <laughs> I think um, 1 million out of 10. I mean, I got to give that an 11. That's crazy. Meaning my illegal build was the best. And they had no idea I was cheating. Sanctum. We have the three boxes with the paint, the expander, and the wrench. Now, before I do anything, I first need to make a circle for Sanctum. That kind of works. And then I'll make someone that extends like this. I'm thinking it's a padded room. What do we do for Sanctum? This is actually going to be a small throne. So I need to make sure it elevates up one time. And so far, it actually doesn't look that bad. But I will be adding some defense around here just to make it look extra cool and you know it already looks insane the throne itself needs to be kind of big enough to have someone cool sitting on it so if i fill this all in we are making something for the warden i think we now have a throne. I do need to make it look more cooler. So what if I add two little iron bars? Let me kind of make how he's going to sit. As a king, he'll be wearing red. His hands are going to overhang like he's just relaxing and he looks completely nonchalant. How long does it take Scarlet to make a box? Let's see. His eyes will look like that. I kind of want to give him white hair to show that he's old. But I don't want to give him a bold patch because that's just, that's just mean. Ooh, that does look fancy. Now what I think I'll do is Loki, let me break his eyes a little bit. What if I just use the pump to indent them like this? Honestly, he doesn't look that bad. He does look kind of weird, but he looks pretty awesome so far. We're making the back rooms. That's the king done. I do want to give him some diamonds on his wrists because he's rich. And since he's a king, he's going to have diamonds on his actual crown. Now I need to extend this a little bit out because this is 
gonna be where people are gonna be worshipping him. And just for this, I can make it completely red. But if I was to spy upon Pepper, he's building the sanctum first. And Scarlet's making a box. This brings me such joy. And just like that, at least this area's done. And this is the entrance. Now, one thing I didn't really think about, which I wonder if it worked. Okay, this might surprisingly work so good. He's got a bit of a chain. If I make the legal paint yellow, this guy's gonna be fully blinged out. Okay, yo, wait, that actually looks crazy. I have to do it this repeat time today. I should first change the floor to smooth red standstone actually works. But just like that, I've made two cylinders that will honestly be connected by a chain. I've kind of made this look super crazy. There we go. At least we can walk a little bit in here. Just kind of need to add some detail here. So if I just copy this, what block would I want to make it? Crying obsidian could look super nice. So if I do that, it kind of matches each other. What I kind of want to do is just by using some simple command, act like there's energy coming out. Yeah, it looks like this is solely being corrupted. And he's the king of corruption. I want to be I want it to be like a crystal in the air. Okay, we should make a secret snow hideout. One thing I want to do is if I put that there and use the expander. Oh, is this actually going to work? I really don't know if this is going to work or if it's going to look completely stupid. But we'll find out. Okay, I think it's working. I think I'm expanding. I love it so much. Okay. I've somehow made a diamond crystal. And we now have two giant crystals holding this entire thing together. I guess this is the ceiling. So if I was to just do this to this corner and make it black concrete. Okay, it just looks just as good. I think I'll just mess these blocks up slightly if i was to make the walls completely black with the illegal paint what would happen well first of all that looks extremely cool but second of all what has it done it's made it into void that honestly hurts my eyes but it looks super cool okay what should we have in here we should have a bed i might add the bone spikes over on this side just to maybe make some cool things but there's still something missing Ooh, made a pyramid same thing over here pyramid okay honestly two pyramids maybe add some detail here by simply making it completely black it looks kind of endless and i guess i'll do the same thing over here. Yo, wait, this looks really cool. We'll have a bunch of villagers here lined up and going, ready to worship the king. I'm not gonna waste a bunch of time this time on anything crazy. We're gonna go with what we know we can finish. It has to be like a void. It's floating in the void. Loki, an idea I have is if I replace the lodestone. Okay, honestly, this looks insane so far. Wait, that gave me an idea. What if I just make his hair gray instead of white? I think the gray looks a lot better, no? I wanna expand the entrance because only by expanding can I make this look something like stairs and maybe we can make a bubble column so by expanding these blocks we now have some sort of stairs which kind of looks cool and over here just mess these about slightly like that and this is perfect meaning we had to be in the middle to vote for the best build follow me i see you also went with a box nice box 10 out of 10 nice it's so box. much more than a 10. box it's so much more than that wait guys hear me out what is oh this what? it's a padded room okay this is cursed see don't you feel real Relaxed. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna kind of go over here because this just looks sus. It's just snow. Go down there. Oh, wait, what? This is my sanctuary. <laughs> this is a very cursed sanctum. I can't lie. This room is so weird feeling. I don't like this. I like it. I, I, do I don't know what I was expecting coming outside, but inside's insane. I'm gonna give this a nine. I'll give it an eight. I'm gonna go with a nine too, just because this feeling I get in this room. It's, it's so weird. My idea was of like a floating sanctuary. I'm thinking of like endangered species. Ooh. Yo, wait, this looks insane from the outside, but yo, this is like a zoo. They're my frogs now. Has, has anyone noticed this guy's infiltrated? Maybe he thinks he's a panda. Wolfie, this this is a easily a 10. I'll give you a 10, yeah. I, I don't have other scores to give besides 10. Now, this is a secret area and you can only enter if you decide to enter, but it, it, there is a warning. I will enter? This is the sacred flame. It just do not break the sacred flame. That is the only rule not to break break the sacred flame. What happens if I break it? I don't know. I've never broken it. Oh! No, not wait. the... Stop! Yo, wait. Yo, I've been putting... I'm in survival mode. Hey, no, you don't hear me, right? I'm just gonna... Oh, wait, why is he so fast? Save me. <laughs> Ow. This is insane. This is, this is a 10 out of 10. I agree. This is a 10. I love the back rooms. Now, you might have had a warden that never dies, but this is my sanctum. We come inside. Oh my, what? This makes me feel more insane than <sighs> the padded room. How do you have the chain? So, so, so this is the king. He's oh, got a yeah. chain. He's blinked out. How did you do that? <laughs> 
And as you can see, he's actually an evil king because he has towers of corruption that are corrupting the world. All right, well, I'm going to go with a 10. This is crazy. There's so much cool stuff in here. To the surprise of everyone, I'm also going to go with 10. Same. This is tripping me a lot. Yep, yeah, that's perfect. You guys uh, stay in there and you'll most likely die. But Slash Dash Illegal was perfect. And they had no idea I was cheating. Gamer room. All right, good luck, guys. Good luck, gamers. And now I'm over on my side. And by doing Slash Brush, I get this, which is a pro build brush. Just to show you how this works. If I quickly build a PC, which right now doesn't look kind of cool, but if I right click using the build brush and just like that, I'm now inside a PC. And this is exactly the PC I built with the build brush. Now that shows you how overpowered this is. But the more I'll be using the build brush, the more I'll unlock new features, making the most illegal builds. I kind of want to see what everyone else is doing. They might also building a PC. Okay, looking good. And Kipley, I have no idea what she's doing. Put the purple glass on top. But the next thing I need to build is very simple. That's one leg done and now like that we've built kind of a rough desk i don't know if this desk is too big and just like that the table's now been made and i'm kind of glad i made it on the borderline because it barely fits in whoa is this zetro's pc wait this looks awesome oh yeah that's looking good <laughs> i like this is that regular ice can i melt that hey we need to make the motherboard somehow how does that even look what a harmless little prank, you know what I mean? I hope it melts. How long does it take to melt, you think? But now we have half a cell. I have no idea what happened to Thermite. No, someone's melting my ice. We get out. I didn't even place the water. I'm just melting things. <laughs> if I was to pop into Invis, I could go close to Kipley's side. Oh, go away. Torches, stop melting my ice. <laughs> and instantly, I need a keyboard, some monitors, and I, I assume she's making lights here. But you know what would be interesting? If I turn that into redstone blocks and turn the purple stained glass into TNT. I wish there were concrete stairs. That would be so awesome. There's our little mouse. There we go. Ah! Just like that, her area blew up. Um, uh, hello? They just changed my my hexagon lights into, into redstone and then blew everything up. Now she's definitely going to blame someone else, which will buy me more time to actually build. Instantly, I need a monitor. So I need to make a stand, something that holds it up like this. And just like that, we have one monitor. I also want to make speakers. Okay, that's some funky looking speakers. All right, we got a RAM. All right, my setup is looking pretty good so far. Cannot lie. I need my chair now. I have a gray chair, so let's make it let's make it gray. Maybe a small gaming mat, something like this, and then a cool looking keyboard that honestly, let me know how your guys' keyboards are. Now only having one speaker kind of looks odd. So what if I make one more speaker right here? And just like that, I think it's kind of done. We're gonna have purple carpet. There we go. Got my little swivel chair. Easy. <laughs> chair does look small, a bit small compared to the desk, though. I think we need to make this a bit bigger, actually. And just like that, the smoke has faded, and we have a cool looking cell. Okay, instantly this keyboard looks amazing. It also looks very similar to the one I have at home. It's looking pretty pretty decent, I gotta admit. Let me see if there's any other details I'm missing. We have the classic mouse over here and a nice monitor, which we can customize with a brand new build brush feature. But thank you, Kipley, for this idea. Now, I feel like I'm definitely missing something in this gaming room. And for that thermite, I'm gonna check yours up. Hey, I see I see your particles. Definitely a little sus, so I'm gonna stay here so he doesn't realize. But he's building some sort of house, PC thing? I don't even know. But if I check up on Zetros... We're gonna add some LED gaming lights. Whoa, look at these. Oh, Poor Zedra, what kind of gaming room is this? I'd be so sad if this was my gaming room, but don't mind me. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Oh, this is this is gonna go the, the wrong way completely. Oh, wait. What has happened? Uh, hello? What has happened? I think everyone's gonna ignore that for now. But one thing I saw from Zetro's build that I kind of need to make. Okay, I don't know how I'm gonna make this, but it's just a simple chair. Now, I don't think I'm gonna make a gaming chair, but some are even cooler. A gaming stool. There we go. Okay, the chair is a bit, a bit bigger now. <laughs> that looks exactly like I built it. Okay, don't even lie. This would be amazing. Okay, no, this would ruin your back. But it definitely is somewhat different. Now, so far, what would you rate this setup out of 10? Now, Zetro's made a fridge over there. And I kind of think his build already done, which is concerning. But instead of a fridge, what if I was to make a giant shelf of gaming? Like something like this. Now, I just need to make shelves. Maybe a creeper, a box, maybe even an Xbox right here. Well, I hope this kind of works. All right, let me get this room a bit taller, I think. Oh, wait, I didn't expect it to be this big. Well, I guess they made a zombie out of that, and it kind of worked. Oh, it really did make an Xbox, which is super cool. I don't know what the rest of this is, but it kind of fits in perfectly. And now there's only three minutes left. Oh, 
Oh gosh. Well, actually, three minutes left is pretty good. It gives us enough time to sabotage some people. And so far, we made good progress. But this build brush has now been upgraded, meaning I'll be able to make blocks that aren't even in Minecraft. Detra looks like he's going over to the my side. Actually, you know what? I I think I feel like someone's cheating. My build doesn't exactly look great. We're going to go ahead and steal Thermite's PC. Okay, I don't know how this is going to work. I'm going to try and make sure he can't hear me. Actually, I'm just going to mute so he can't hear me. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, he spotted me. Everything all right, Zetro? <laughs> okay, bye-bye. Oh, we've... Wait. Um. Oh, he's literally just stolen the top half of Thermite's build. <laughs> we've got his computer, but it's, um, it's sort of in the ground. Oh, but Kipley's fully blocked off an area, meaning I need to investigate this. And yo, this looks crazy. She's got a little aquarium. Oh, wait. Gives me an idea though. Now, I don't know if this will work or this might be a complete failure, but I want to make a Pokeball house and an Among Us house. And your name, zombie, will be Steve. There you go, Steve. All right. And just like that, I now have a Mongo's. Oh, wait, and I have a Pokeball? That is an actual Pokeball house. But I saw Kipley had a set of drawers. So I kind of want to do the same thing. And since there's two minutes left, I've got to be really fast. There we go. Now we got people in the Minecraft game. Woo! <laughs> and like that, the desk is done. I kind of want to add a lamp, something like that. Maybe a book. There we go. No one will suspect a thing. And it's just come out to an actual build. And now there's only one minute left, so I've got to be fast. Oh, you know what? Let's throw in some tools, and then we're going to go blow up some bases. Now, I'm going to use a new feature to see what new block it actually creates. So by making a quick sky... Wait, this is just blue concrete. But it says sky... I'm so confused. Have I not properly unlocked it yet? Oh, my gosh. Okay. That's a lot of stuff. Maybe we stay away from Quiff because he's dangerous. Well, honestly, that might be good because I might have got caught. All I do is just add some villagers who won't escape because if you jump, you will die. One last minute addition I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a lucky block. And you might be thinking this is kind of stupid, but wait till you see it. Okay, maybe this does look stupid, but there's only one way to find out. I know what we can do. Uh, excuse me. What are you? What are you Stop! I don't want grass! I'm going to change the floor. What is wrong with you? Now Kipley has what no gamers have in their room. Grass. Okay, and it hasn't, it hasn't spawned any. Why is it spawned? I'm so confused. Is, is this bugging? Or is it because it couldn't fit? So it just moved it over there. Oh, it might have just moved it into the next free space. But with the time now up, we had to meet in the middle. So we could vote for the best build. You can come over to my PC gamer room. Oh. Ooh, okay. Yo, it's an actual PC. Wait, you've somehow actually made it into a house. Man lives inside of his PC. You might be wondering where the storage is. And that can be answered by looking where the storage would be on any computer in the SSD right here. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, okay. that's really cool. And there's some farming up here. Oh, it's a farm. Yeah, some... I like the frog lights. Yes, had to include the RGB. Yo, this is actually a sick base. I like the creative twist on it. Man is living in his PC. I like all the detail on the side here. Yeah, I, I love this, man. I wish I would have thought of this to live inside the PC. I'm, I'm going to go with a 10. Yeah, honestly, I have to give it a 9 out of 10. This is actually nuts. I'm going to, I don't know. This is this is like a 10 out of 10, to be honest. Then I got a 29 out of 30. So uh, we, we've got we've got a gaming setup. So this is the room. If you want to just hop on inside, you've got the little um, RGB floor in. What type of monitors like are the these? <laughs> Mini fridge. But then that's not all. So. If you uh, if you follow me down this amazing tunnel, we've got a bunch of RGB down here as well. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> What? what? What is the sign? What are these signs everywhere, man? Property of that. Oh, just ignore those. But then if you just go back to your original base over here and you check your gaming setup, your monitors are legitimately signs. They do kind of look like monitors, though, on this scale. You know what? I'm flattered that you decided to take inspiration from my build and move it to yours. So I'm going to go with a seven. <laughs> Yeah, Zetra, I mean, it's all right. You know, you did steal Thermite's entire build, so I'm gonna have to dock you some points for that one, buddy, all right? I'm gonna go with a five. I do like it, but I have to give you a five, too. Five? Ooh. Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm just gonna take it and stop talking. All right, gentlemen, follow me this way, and you are in my setup. Woo! Yo, this is insane. You got the IKEA shelves. I do. And then I got my uh, my setup right here. You don't got my monitors. Wait, this is this meant to be like your real life setup? Kind of, yeah. Honestly, what would have made this bad if, is if you made a version of yourself saying. Oh, that would have been smart. If I had time, I would have, you know. I'm going to give this a... I'm going to give it an eight. Yeah, I like I like eight. I'm going to go eight too. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty cool. I'll give, I'll give this a seven. Kipley got a 23 out of 30. And over here, this is my build. Wait, what? This is awesome. Okay, I have to walk you through it. First of all, we have our gaming shelf. 
Where am I? Is this where you got your Xbox from? Uh, scores are in. Can't change them. But what makes it even cooler is the little the little toys in the front. We have a Pokeball that you can open that is a house. Yo! They got a pool! That, that's pretty much my entire build. Honestly, everything is on like a massive scale. So I'm very impressed. I'm gonna have to give this a 10. Yeah, honestly, honestly, same. This this has to be a 10 for me. I don't know what I, I don't know how you could have went any any better. Uh make that three tens. I'm going 10 as well. That's actually perfect. Meaning my build got 30 out of 30, and the build brush was about to go crazy. These are my friends. And they've challenged me to a build battle. Quiff, this is it. You're gonna lose this time. It's gonna be easy. But what they don't know is I'll be cheating with a professional build. Builder, who will build the craziest build in Minecraft? Skidzy, what's the first build? Circus. All right, we have 15 minutes to make a circus. That's where you belong. All right, let's do it. Go, go, go. So I'm going to tell the pro builder to make a circus. And they're camouflaged in my skin. That means whenever someone looks over, they'll realize it's me actually building. Although I need to go from this to complete invis. Now what's SB doing? If there's one thing I will say is that doing these build battles is making me get better and better at making circles. And Skidzy is looking really good. I'm using every brain neuron to focus right now. Base cheating with Will did it, but it looks pretty cool. But every single one of these players will try and cheat just so they can beat me in a building competition. And over on Liger's side, not too shabby. Look at that. He's building a snowman. Wait, I think that's a clown. I don't know why he said it'd be easy. Okay, they're starting off kind of slow so far, but I don't exactly know what they're making. Is this supposed to be the outline of the build? I just spent so long trying to make this and it does not look good at all. But I'm gonna grab some TNT and kind of put it into his build. Hey, yo, who's placing TNT? It blew up his build. Who's trolling? So while he's patching that, I'm gonna kind of burn it. No, 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 no. I just spent forever working on this. That's what you get for cheating. All right, that's it. Someone's trolling. Wait, where's he going? I'm actually about to get down to the bottom of this. He's flying over to SBs. Why'd you burn down my uh, my circus, huh? Why? Because then I can win. No, I didn't touch the circus. I, I don't know why. What? Yo, bro, actually just admit it. And they're still arguing? We'll do the same thing. I'm burning this whole thing down like you did to me. Oh, I didn't have to do it. He's burning the entire thing. You don't want to start a war with me. But you Yo, Ligus looks really cool. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Oh, hey, yo. Oh, oh, yo, yo. Hey, what's going on, chill, dude? chill, yo. Although I have a bit of an idea. Yo, who's placed TNT behind my build? Liger, I didn't do it. I was literally standing right here. Ah! No, no, water, water, water. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yo, I don't know what's going on with them. Yo, what did I come back to? But wait, it's outside the line. That's because I forgot to tell them. All right, let's go ahead and uh, check up on everybody else since I'm low-key a cheater. But the inside looks really cool so far. They've somehow already made one area. Yo, Quiff popped off. Hey, yo, All hey, right, yo, buddy. Hey, yo. All right, buddy. It's time for some revenge. And I don't know what this is. I assume there's going to be some cool things in here. But what exactly is going to be in the middle? Hey, yo, what happened to Skidzies? Admit it. Admit Please. it was you. It's Admit don't mess with us. What? what did I do? And over on SB side? Not having the best day in the world here, am I? He still made no progress. But that's a five minute timer. Five minutes left. Are you kidding? This is not going well. Five minutes left. There definitely needs to be something in the middle. Wait, that actually looks kind of sick. Thank you, Skidzy, for this idea. So I'm going to tell him to make a viewing area in the middle. Because other than that, my circus looks really cool. Although I think I'm going to help him by grabbing a chicken and putting him up here. I think that kind of fits the circus vibe, right? Wait, what are these guys doing? You haven't you done enough damage no 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 i got it all right i got it all right i've come to make peace and that is called the distraction paste dash a there we go wait like i just copied skidzy's build i'm about to do a madness oh look at it it's a great build oh fantastic i think it's amazing he took it too hey yo i just caught that in 4k but if i check back inside yo they've done exactly what i asked i think this is supposed to be a lion they've also made a cool looking car which again i don't know why it's floating but i'm not gonna question it we even have a little stage. Would you guys hire this pro builder? Because I definitely would. But there's only three minutes left. Oh, we only got three minutes left, boys. We got to hurry up. And over on Skidzy's side, is he somehow burning his own place? Wait! This place has burned down so many times. Brother, this is so stupid. But I don't think he's realized Ligus copied his build. So if I grab some TNT, I'm going to kind of leave a trail over like this. He should follow that, right? Who's messing with me? I kind of think he's finally noticed. I don't know where this is going. Yeah, keep breaking it, buddy. Just got to get all this off my my land i'm gonna sabotage these guys to fight why does liger have my build and there you go um excuse me 
Could you leave or I'll ban you from the server? All right, I'm going to leave that. I'm leaving. So while those two are fighting, it gives more time for my pro builder to make the build amazing. I'm burning this whole thing down. Chill. This is copyright. Chill. This is copyright. Chill. And there's only one minute left. One minute left. Good luck, Liger. Look at that. Okay, okay, that's it, bro. I'm going over to yours. I'm going over to yours. I'm going over to yours. But why is Liger's base always burning? But if I go inside SP's base, he has a villager trapped with an amp. Okay, this is kind of cursed. Liger, please. No, no, don't do it. What? <laughs> and Skitsies? What happened? How did you even do that? But I think mine's pretty much done. And time's up. That's it. Time's up, boys. So with a time up, we all had to meet in the middle. All right, guys. Uh, let's let's go ahead and uh, take a look at my build. Yo, what well, you is this? Need, you had all that time. It's more of a post-apocalyptic kind of vibe. Bro, you had 15 minutes to build this. Can we just give it a rating and move on? Because, you know, this is kind of hurting my eyes. I'm going to give it like a 4 out of 10. 4 is kind of nice. I'm going to give it a 2. I'm going to have to give it a 0. All right, I'm giving it a 0 as well. I'm giving it a 0 as well. I'm sorry. I'm giving it a 0 as well. Zero, 0 for me too. Skizzy got a 2 out of 30. And it was on to Ligers. All right, here it is. Here's the here's the Liger Circus. Finally, some originality. Yo, what what happened to the roof here? Yeah, I know. It's like it's like an open roof. It's meant for like the summer, you know, in case yeah, it's like yeah, really yeah. hot, like okay. air coming in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, why is that fire? Look, look, look. It's a. It's Whoa, a wait, he it's, just changed his build. It's a, it's a tent. Uh, he just no. changed his build. Listen to me. He's Listen. Cheating, bro. Quip, He's cheating. Quip, shut up for a second. Build. Yo, why, why is your tent falling down? What's going on? The tent changes itself. <laughs> Talk about a tent collapse. Okay, whatever, man. Just rate it, whatever. Oh, man. I know, I'm gonna give it a five. Honestly, I like it. I'm gonna give it a seven. Yeah, like her, bro. I'm gonna have to give this a two out of ten, man. I, I don't know what happened. Liger's build was pretty interesting. We're on to SBs. So, for my build, I'm pretty sure this is the one that everybody copied. What? Yeah, circus vibe. This guy has to escape from a smoke-filled cage before the egg cracks and the anvil falls on his head. Oh! Yo! Oh, wait. Oh, he survived! Oh, whoa! Oh, whoa. Whoa. Yo, let's what? Yo. Harry Potter! Harry Potter! <laughs> Harry Potter. <laughs> Yo, where is he going? Anyways, I'm gonna keep it a buck fifty. This build right here, it's an eight out of ten for me. Honestly, I'm gonna I'll give it an eight out of ten too. This is my build. This is zero out of ten. This is my property. SB got a sixteen out of thirty, and it was onto mine. And this is mine. What? Well, it's nice to see Whoa. an original build for a change. Inside, we have multiple games. <gasps> oh, my God. Like a, like a, why not like a Liger, bro? Like a Liger, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. It's a Liger, bro. It's a Liger. Where'd you come up with this idea? I like it. They're very original. You grab some snowballs from here. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got the diamond. I got the diamond. Uh, Look, oh, it's loads. I finessed the system in. I give this build a 10 out of 10. Yeah, that was amazing. It's a 10 from me. That's what I like oh, here. 3 10 out of 10. And with my build game 30 out of 30, they had no idea I was cheating. Battle. Wait, we have to build a battle? Yeah, we have 10 minutes to make a battle. Good luck. All right, good luck, boys. All right, go, go, go. Let's do this. Well, that's an interesting one. So I'm going to tell them to make a battle. I don't know what of, but I expect it to be the craziest battle in Minecraft. Hey, yo, what's this glass on my side? All right, boom. There we go. Now the villagers are split up. What is like a making? All right, there we go. That should be enough villagers. Is that another command block? Oh! <gasps> uh, I have no idea what's going on. And if I do it right, who knows? I might just win this one. And SB's built a poop. Ooh, I don't know what they're making so far, but it doesn't look that bad. Make a cool pattern on the side. And SB's made some progress. He's building a giant cow, and Liger's made a dungeon. But it would be a shame if I was to just break this. <laughs> oh, brother. Buddy, get out the way! <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god, look, they're already hungry for it. Oh, this is horrible. The wall is already broken out. Skidzy's making making some sort of cannon. I know what he's doing. He's gonna destroy Liger's build for revenge. Yo, on the other side, mine's starting to look crazy. They're building some sort of catapult cannon thing and there's four minutes left. Oh, we only have four minutes left. Well, there's only four minutes left, so I'd better get a move on. Yo, the cannon's starting to look sick. It kind of does like a worm. Going over to Liger's side hurts. Oh my God, look, there's even like tiny little baby villagers. There's way too many mobs there. Has SP just made a cow? And that is the build complete. Two minutes left, gotta be the time to do, you know? Although two minutes. Oh my god, what is that? What is going on? What did I come back to? They've made tanks. Yo, the detail on these tanks is crazy. It's like they're going to war against the free cannons. Bro, this is a whole army scene. It literally works. Yo, what yo, is sorry, wrong sorry, with sorry, you? Sorry, 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 sorry. That was a test run. That was a test run. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Point it the other direction. Oh my god. And has Skidzy tested his cannon? Because what is this hole? I think Skidzy plans to blow up Ligers. But do you know what's funny? Go inside here and place barriers. Just play <laughs> 
Oh, that's so smart. So when he shoots it, it's going to explode. I think just to help you out, I am going to be putting some TNT too. Yeah, this this has been a war. All right, time's up, finally. Oh, okay. All right, time's up, boys. But with the time finally up, we have to vote for the best build. All right, guys, let's uh, let's go ahead and take a look at my build. Okay. okay. This is uh, the Skidzy Industries Canon 9000. Okay. Actually, I mean, if you want to just like demonstrate what it looks like. Oh. No, no, no. Oh. It's just for show. It's just for show. Yo! <laughs> Yo, it broke. It blew up. Wow, oh, it's not that good, is it? Honestly, yeah, it's 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 kind of rough. I'm giving it an eight. I'm gonna give it a six. Let's go over to my build, yeah. Let's uh, let's look at a real battle. All right, what's inside here? All right, boys. Uh, you, bets are now open. Uh, the zombies oh. give you two odds. Uh, you can only uh bet with crypto and uh cash. Oh, Whoa, wait, this is actually pretty Whoa, sick. Yo, why are they so fast? Let's speed things up with uh, a splash portion of swiftness for the zombies. Yo, wait. Bro didn't even account for the sunlight. Wait, what? Yo, this is crazy. This honestly is entertaining. It is entertaining. The villagers are going to win. Oh, oh, the no, last no, one. No, the no, last no, one. No, and no, no, the zombies no. win. Oh, my God. Stacked against all odds and they win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what's up with this big hole in the ground. So I'm going to have to give it a 5 out of 10. Yeah, honestly, it was entertaining. I'm going to give it 8 out of 10. A 7 out of 10 because I'm not sure about this hole in the ground. But yeah. Like I got 20 out of 30. SB, why did you have cows? Did you say battle? I, now, I mistakenly thought it was cattle. <laughs> Wait, wait. So judge me, judge me on on me thinking it's cattle. Um, SB, how come this one's on fire? Whoa, whoa, what's going on? Hey, so uh, anybody want a barbecue, steak, anybody, burgers? You know, we can offer it all here. Hello. Yo, it's not that bad. It, it, to say it was the wrong thing, it's not. Why is this one burning? Yo, what's going on? Yo, what happened to this one's face? Uh, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna give this one like a solid nine out of ten. I, I like this one quite a lot. Honestly, I'll, I'll give it a 9 out of 10, too. Yeah, honestly, this one right here is kind of cute. Um, so, honestly, this is a 10 out of 10, bro. I, I like this a lot. SP got a 28 out of 30, and this is mine. Yo, what? Whoa, these tanks? That does not look like a cannon, bro. That kind of sus. <laughs> bro, it's a cannon. Yo, wait, what's going on, bro? <laughs> they're, they're, they're worm cannons. Oh. Yo, look at that. They've, they've eaten the tanks. What would you guys rate it? 10 out of 10, 100%. Yeah, it's a 10 out of 10 build. Wow, that's insane. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be an 8 out of 10. Okay, I'll take that. I got a 28 out of 30 and was tied with SB, but they still don't know I'm cheating. So the build this time is... Oh, I got it. It's monster. It's monster. All right, we're fighting. Oh, to make a monster. Good luck. Ah, monster! So I'm gonna tell the pro builder to make a monster, and it's gonna get crazy. The entire second round was to make them not sus, and now this is where we get crazy. Yo, who's just placed warden? Is that Liger? Bro, what is he doing? This was the easiest build I've ever made in my life. What is that? Yo, 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 yo! I've looked away for a second, and what have they done? They've just built like a giant alien. Look at the detail of this. The entire alien looks so good, and you can't even do anything about it. Even on the bomb layers, look at all the details. And it's going over to their side. Because look at SB, what's he building? You know what? I like it. It's very, very scary indeed. And over on Skidzy's side? All right, guys. You may be wondering why I'm building a duck. You will shortly find out, okay? Because this duck is a monster. I I'm telling you that right now. Is Skidzy making some sort of duck? What is Liger doing? And is he spying on Liger? What is happening? I'll tell you what's happening. Skidzy, I'm burning your your whole build oh i guess he kind of realized oh hey 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 hey! What, what's going on with this fire bro and yo everyone's gonna notice this how do you not notice this even i would call anyone out for cheating they're not building this in 10 minutes and i like cut this guy in half make him smaller simple idea if i get tnt and flint and steel maybe i can like blow some of it up just so it doesn't look as sus i don't know how this is gonna work please tell me this works right or at least it looks semi good they've sabotaged me let's just put the m right here what's liger making what in the world is this wait i think he's kind of realized oh my god yo that's huge but there's no way bro made this in five minutes um wait a second if i'm getting called out for cheating and i'm gonna keep pacing this <laughs> his eyes his eyes are missing oh my bro what is this okay you know what i think i've done a good job but hey all the time's up I couldn't even remove that. Oh, time's oh. up. Oh, oh, time. No, 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 no time's up. Time's up. No, no, time's up. Time's up. You're right. You're right. You're right. Now we all have to meet in the middle and vote for the best build. All right, my friends. Let's go take a look at my beautiful build. Uh, so the theme was monster. Now, if you guys would just fly up real quick. As you can see, I wrote out monster. Look. Oh, he did. I googled uh, uh, Minecraft monster and the warden came up. So I just spawned in a bunch of wardens. Honestly, smart. Oh, Whoa, well, wait, they, they, what? They, they I? Uh, four out of ten. Yeah, that, that's a three out of ten for me, bro. I'm afraid I'm going to have to give it a zero out of ten because you didn't actually 
build anything. You just spawn one. And it's a build battle, not a spawn yeah, battle. I have got minus all 50. All right, guys. Let me show you what a real monster looks like. All right? It is really cute. And it's a representation of someone that's oh. with us right now. Yeah, it's uh, it's this guy right here. This swan duck right here. here. He's a penguin. He stole my build. Let me have a close <laughs> look. Let me have a close look. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ew, yeah, don't look at his uh. face. Don't look at his face. You know what? Because he completely missed the theme, uh, I, I'm going to give it a zero out of ten. Yeah, it's a zero. All right, moving on to the next one. Yep, it's a zero. It's a zero. Skizzy got a zero out of 30. So, welcome to my build. Yo, what is this? I get what he's trying to do. He built he built Skidzy and made him seem like a monster. And just because of that, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10 because I really don't like Skidzy. I like it. Wow. Amazing concept. I also like the fact that you added one, two, three, four, five heads. Dude, See, why am I, I like balding on Yo, this wait, one. wait. Bro. Why is he balding the in the back? Part, the scariest part is Ew, he's balding. Like he's receding. Yo! Whoa! Whoa, what just Yo! happened? Yo! I clicked a what? button. I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. Yeah, yeah honestly, SB, SB, I don't know who that monster was, but it was he was so handsome, he was clean cut and strapping. So I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. <laughs> SB got 30 out of 30. And this is my build. It's literally not even in. Only this thing is. This little part. Quiff, this is completely out of bounds. But you see, his Ew. arms chopped off. Quiff, this is freaking oh, massive, dude. How did you build this in like 10 minutes? Yeah, he's sick, right? Yeah, I honestly think this was my best build so far. No, no, no. This is okay. mad yeah. sus, bro. This yeah, there's no way. I'm, I'm just gonna say I won this. Uh, Yeah. All right, yo. Mine's a 50 out of 50. No, you didn't win anything, mine's a 50 out of 100. Quiff. And I won this building competition! Fantasy base. Okay, good luck, guys! Ooh. Yeah, I don't wish him good luck. And that's because I have a scanner right here. We've already seen what it's capable of. So let me place it back down. So now we have a nice scan radius. Now, before I start upgrading, I first need to create the base of this place. And make it maybe seem a bit like a box. If this works, I'll be able to scan a dragon. So it's time to activate the first scanner. All right, we're going to make like an epic tavern-like thing, I think. And now they're actually scanning the entire build. Trying to find the best way to upgrade this fancy base. So while that's scanning and preparing for the actual build, I'll be popping over to Invis to check out Kipley's build. All right, there we go. We got kind of a sky island going here. It needs to be cleaned up a little. I kind of like that she's going with the floating island. Wait, that was ruined. Oh my god. But wait a second, why did this change so fast? I think she might be using world in it. The sky island is gonna look awesome. Now I have this creeper spawn egg right here, and I want to test if this works. If I was to just scan this creeper spawn egg, and if I'm not mistaken, it should theoretically actually upgrade it. That's not a normal creeper egg. What is this? I've got a charged creeper egg, and I kind of want to test it. How does this work? If I was just to place it down. Whoa, yo, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, water bucket on standby. A charged creeper spawn. Block the base. Defend it, defend it, defend it, defend it, defend it. That's actually overpowered. Uh, Kipley's not in this. Someone's running to Kipley. Kipley. I just came over because I heard lightning. Yeah, I mean, that had to have been Quiff, right? I don't know. But in the meantime, my building's been scanned, and you could tell by the scanner's missing. So what exactly is this? It says, oh, there's literally nothing inside. It's just a cool-looking building. But now I need to kind of make the roof. We will build our first tower. Which honestly looks kind of good so far. I want to scan upside down, but I guess you can't place it upside down, which makes this kind of tough. Either way, since it's not a big build, I can scan like that. I'm loving how the purple blocks are looking. This is going to be the best ever. But I didn't think the scan would be this fast. I guess because it already knows what's based. Off, I could break all the evidence. Well, I don't think it finished scanning. I think we need revenge on Quiff. That had to have been him, right? TP. Let's let's just send all the creepers back to him. But now this is looking more like a fantasy house. But why is there a charged creeper in my base? Has there been someone infiltrating this? But how do you get upstairs? Like the stairs are cool, but that's not enough for scanning. So I have an idea. Let's say I scan this, which right now is just a door with a bunch of chests. I'm gonna get a sign right here that will say elevator. And hopefully you understand. I don't know how OP slash a scan is. So far, we've seen it's made some crazy stuff. All right, there we go. Something like that. I like it. I like it. We'll throw in a couple cracked ones just to give it some character. Now, while all that's good and cool, what makes it even better? It's literally going to be what if I make a windmill? I know, Quiff, that's a stupid windmill. It looks ugly. Not if I was to make it realistic. In the meantime, I could check up on whatever this is. No way was this right. A working elevator? Oh, there are two floors. Whoa! Guys, this is insane. Okay, cute. We got a little tower thing going on right there. Now we just need to make three more of them. Now, I don't know how long this is going to take. We need to make this windmill look insane. And I don't exactly know how it's going to be moving. But look at Kipley's build. All right, there we go. We got four towers. This is beautiful. 
What is this? Okay, this looks exactly like I've built. And wait, it's turning. This build's insane. My only competition here is Kipley. And she's going for some weird looking princess base. But you know what would be cool? If I turn the dirt into gravel. What has happened here? There's no way. Why does it actually look kind of cool though? In the meantime, I'm going to grab the corners of my build just so I can make it more fantasy like. And that's the type of vibe this gives me. That's because if I place these trees down. Okay, surprisingly, this looks a lot cooler than I would have thought. Someone dropped half of my base down here, but I think I can make it look cooler, you know? Now, the idea I have is if I was to make a nether pole and light it, either I'm going to be bringing the entire nether towards me, or it's going to be scanning the entire thing to make an amazing nether pole that's very fancy-like. Let's just uh, let's drop a couple extra pillars down there. And up here is a working portal. I can add some stairs to give it some decoration, but there we go. A little area you can walk up, find a nether pole that's still in bounds. Okay, the scan did amazing, but before I could do anything else, Else, the time was up and we had to meet in the middle. All right, gentlemen, follow me this way to the kingdom of Kipling. Ooh, I kind of like how this is a floating island that spat out poop. It's uh, dark forces trying to climb up to the island. But don't you worry. We have uh, mages here to protect it. Oh, sweet. Okay, what's inside is just kind of plain. I, I, I didn't have as much time as I wanted, but uh, they're all training, you know? They're sorcery powers. Um, I'll go I'll go 7 out of 10. I'm digging the sparkle. All right, Kipley, I kind of like the idea you're going for. You had an idea. You didn't execute it. I'm going to give this a 6 out of 10. All right, follow me. We'll come down to this cozy little cottage in the little mushroom forest. Ooh. I like this vibe you're going with. So you just come on in. It's just a nice little base. Just, you can kind of walk around. There's a patio, lots of room. Just lots of decoration everywhere. Just a... Why is there a sauce looking lever right here? It's supposed to like fill up the cauldron. See with water? Oh, oh, oh. Makes sense. Makes sense. It's like a little humble abode. I would totally live in this. And it's got a little cool cal uh, not cauldron. This is a little cool chimney. I like it a lot. Mm. This is an eight. Yeah, I really like this. It's super cozy. I like the custom plants you got going on here. I like this. I'm also go to eight. So when you come to my build, you automatically see a house that's completely covered by lava. Okay, little lava moat. How do we cross? You come across, if any of you guys have realized, a working windmill. Oh, it's rotating. That's so cool. How'd you do that? Wait, what? How is that spinning? What can I say? I'm just, I'm scanning the best objects. Wait, I can even stand on it. Yeah, okay. it's, it's really cool. That's crazy. So then you come down here and you realize, wait a second, why are there two doors? Let's say you don't want to go up the stairs. You want to take a different way. You go to the basement. Hey, you got like a ladder or something? And this is just an average room. You've got a bed, chest, anything you really need. I don't know about the, the grass flooring, but uh, pretty good. It's yeah, part of the fancy vibe. You see this? What is that? Now it's two, meaning we're going up what? the elevator. What the? Oh, there's an elevator. What the? My brain. There's also an upstairs area. If you want to view it, it's just it's just kind of storage room. I like the vibes. Then you come down. And let's say you're in a rush. You've been invaded. You need to head to the nether to get blaze rods. You run across here. And boom. Yo, it's like a hand. And your army's coming through. Look at this. What the? And that's my entire fancy build. Yeah, whoever lives here has actually got magical powers. They got a working windmill and an elevator. Uh, I'm going to give this a 10. I'm going to go 10 too just because of this windmill. Mill. It's so cool. I have now won the building competition and these guys are completely idiotic. Sasha scan is the best.